Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing well. So today I have the Okashi crate from May. I'm super excited to open it up and show you what's inside. I have high hopes for this one. I actually made a video for Okashi crate last month, but I didn't end up posting it because everything was just going wrong that day. And my camera stopped recording, which was like always my nightmare. So yeah, that was fun. Speaking of camera mishaps, I do have a new camera this time and I can actually see that stuff is focusing, so that makes me very happy. Voila. Okay. Oh my gosh. Cute confetti, or not confetti, but styrofoam. Let's start by opening up. Oh, this is actually the June crate. I'm always like a month off. So I'm gonna open the Kit Kats first. So this is the treat where they actually send you an email a few days before the crate ships and they ask you to choose one of three treats. And they gave a choice of either Kit Kat pudding flavor, mint flavor, or maple flavor. And I thought maple flavor sounded really good. Like I've never had a maple Kit Kat. And I like maple syrup. This one goes out to Canada <laughs> and all the maple leaves out there. As soon as I opened it, really strong scent of maple. Mmm, that is really good. It tastes like a crunchy maple donut. Superb. Man, there's a lot in here. This looked really interesting to me because it says it's black tea flavored. Sue corn. What? Bangers and mash are a thing of the past. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Sucone. It's a scone fused with tea in a crispy format, giving you the best of both worlds. Are your taste buds brave enough to give it a taste? Okay. What? Bangers and mash. I feel like, I feel like that joke went over my head and I feel like it's low key a British joke, but <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a bit ashamed that I don't understand what they're talking about. But anyways, this is a scone and a tea all in one, which... <laughs> Why have I not had that before? It smells a bit floral. It's like a... It's like a Cheeto with caramel. I can actually taste the black tea flavor. The flavor is really nice. I feel like the texture is a bit of a miss for me because it's like really dry. They're like sweet, dry Cheetos that taste like tea. I don't know, I can't decide if I like them. I I like anything tea flavored. I like the flavor a lot. What is this? This is a panda. It looks like some form of nut. This is <laughs> Panda Chan's Booger. Contrary to its name, these bad boys taste amazingly sweet. They're peanuts coated in brown sugar made to look like panda snot. Hey, not my idea of a good time, but if you, oh, <laughs> the copy on that one got cut off. We'll just have to let our imaginations go wild. I guess somebody who is intimately aware of Panda Snot designed this snack. Mmm, they're good. I like peanuts. I feel like if these two were combined into one, that would be the ideal snack. Like black tea flavored peanuts. The texture's there with the peanuts. They're nice and crunchy. Okay, this looks fun. Some kind of cracker. Yone Maru crackers? They're large. Mmm. I like that a lot. It's salty and crunchy. I thought there'd be a lot of tiny ones in here, but it's just two big ones. Okay. What do we have here? It's some kind of cartoon villain disturbing a child, as cartoon villains do. Detective Candy. Oh, no. He's a detect- Oh. I see, I see. So each, it's color changing candy. Okay, so it's purple at the beginning and it'll tell your fortune if it turns red or yellow. I don't know what it means. Like which, what color, <laughs> which color is bad and which color is good. It was kind of gross, I keep pulling it out. <laughs> oh, that's a bug. Anything? definitely not turning yellow. The flavor's changing. Sorry, I'm being gross. The flavor's changing, I can tell you that much. Okay, I mean, I guess it's red. I don't know, it's more pink than red. 
I'm gonna assume that means bad. Something bad's gonna happen to me. Okay, I think these are, yeah, these are shrimp, so I'm not gonna try them, but that's what it looks like. It's prawns, once again. So this is, looks like chocolate, Baskin Robbins chocolate. So Baskin Robbins is an ice cream company, which I didn't know existed in Japan. I don't know if you can see that, but they're nicely lined up in rows. It smells like, oh my gosh, kind of a throwback. But in the fifth grade, my classmates and I were like obsessed with these kneadable Sanrio erasers and they had scents and we would all try to like collect new scents. Anyways, this one <laughs> smells exactly like, I can't describe <laughs> which exact scent of eraser it smells like, but man, brings me back. Mm, that's really good. It's like, ugh, childhood. They managed to get a major part of my childhood into a tiny bar of chocolate and it tastes pretty damn fun. Yum. Okay. <laughs> I want to, I want to try this, but I don't think, I don't think I can because on the back it shows, I think you pour it into a mug or a cup or something and then it fizzes like beer. But does it taste like beer? I'm so curious. Okay, the description is dummy beer powder. Do you kids want to know what beer tastes like? Well, here is your chance. Parentheses, alcohol free. Oh my gosh, that's so much fun. I wonder what it actually tastes like because I personally don't see the point in drinking any alcoholic beverage for like flavor. <laughs> like if I'm gonna drink, I wanna, I wanna have a fun time. And I feel like beer generally doesn't taste as good as <laughs> let's say water. <laughs> I don't know. I might try that in one of my other videos. I'm thinking of like just collecting all the stuff I've saved up, like the DIY candy kits and making a video out of those. All right, next is jelly beans. That guy up in the corner is straight chilling. God, I wish that were me. Okay, so we have pineapple, kiwi, mango, and lychee. Those are some fun flavors. Those are flavors you don't see every day. Ah. I was just about to comment that this isn't a resealable package, which is good for them. Like, they really thought this through, but then I just absolutely destroyed the packaging, so the resealing nature is completely void. Hmm, that was lychee, and it's so good. The pink one, that straight up tastes like a flower. What is it? Maybe it is. Oh, it's grapefruit. <laughs> the green one. Oh, kiwi. It tastes nothing like a kiwi, but I still approve. Hmm, the orange one is nice. It tastes like generic tropical flavor. So I'm guessing that's either mango or pineapple. Actually, it's probably mango because this is probably pineapple. I can feel the cavities forming in my mouth. I'm gonna go with these because <laughs> the packaging is so cool. It's like a, a pill popping thing. Oh, it's another fortune telling one. I don't know, I don't know what it means. They're supposed to be symbols on the foil. Um, okay, you probably can't see this. Try as I might to show you things. Um, I think that's a double circle, which means good fortune. Hopefully that offsets the other bad fortune candy that I had earlier. Tastes like very nondescript candy flavor. Next is this, which looks like a giant Mentos. It's a soda flavored chewing candy. Hmm, I like that. Nice texture. Pardon the train passing by. I live right by some train tracks. And we got commuter trains coming through almost every hour. There it is. So this is like um, a high chew, also soda flavored, but it has some kind of tablet inside just in case life weren't exciting enough for you. Oh, makes my teeth feel funny. Ah, they're fizzy. Okay, next is this pineapple thing with pained looking penguins on the front. What could that mean? I think this is gum. Have I committed to a piece of gum? It's a big commitment. Oh, this is so cute. I think it's a mermaid. It's in a little three-dimensional box. It has instructions on it, which I don't understand, so I'm just gonna blindly fumble through this. And yes, I have committed to gum. Just casually gonna uncommit myself. All right, what are these? Oh, oh, it's like chalky. 
Is this? Can't tell if chocolate. It's like sweet, not quite chocolate, but not quite anything else either. Indescribable, honestly. Oh, what is this? It's rocks. Oh my god, I love rocks. This is so fun. And it's like inflated from shipping, which I love. I think they're chocolate rocks. They are indeed. Highly enjoyable. It tastes like hot chocolate. So this looks pretty cool. It's like a fossil candy. So white chocolate dinosaur. This is the chocolate fossil. Look at him. He's so cute. Um, is this like a collect them all type of thing? Oh, it is. I feel a fool because I don't know what, what type of dinosaur that is. I know it's like the, the swimming, the swimming alligator dude. <laughs> it's kind of melty. It was, it was a hot day today. Ooh, crunchy. It's good chocolate. This is an old fashioned sauce rice cracker. Here is an old fashioned rice cracker. If you are into old fashioned Japanese snacks, the sweet and salty sauce covering the rice cracker will stimulate your taste buds with joy. Okay, honestly, that description's got me pumped. I don't think I've ever really tried old fashioned Japanese snacks, but I do like old fashioned stuff in general. All right, this might be a bit messy. So there's like a sauce packet. This is the same kind of foil pack that soy sauce comes in and I always botch that horribly and get soy sauce everywhere. So <laughs> instructions are kind of unclear. It smells, it smells kind of funky. Hmm. I like that. The wafer is really, it's nice. And the sauce tastes better than it smells, to be honest. I wonder if it has like fish or something. <laughs> I'm just chowing down, having a good time. You win some, you lose some in the mystery food game. Okay, so that reminds me, and I don't know what these are called. It's like those Mexican pinwheel fried snacks and you can get them from the corn guy. Okay, I, I don't know, whatever they are, but this is kind of similar to that because it's like a crunchy thing and you're putting sauce on it. And on, honestly, it's, it's really satisfying. Whatever these are, bring them back. They're great. Okay, next is some corn puffs, mango flavored. I think I'm gonna skip over these right now because it's a really big bag and I don't want them to go stale. All right, last thing in the bag da -da -da, is gum. And it looks like sour gum. Let me try to find out. Oh, look out for the sour grape. Who's the lucky one to pick the most sour gum? Why not have some fun with your friends or family? Ha ha ha, what friends? It's just me here. So I guess I will invariably get the sour grape, which means I have to eat three things of gum. I wonder if I can, I mean, one of these looks different from the other. Mm. They smell good. Got that generic Japanese grape smell. Okay, I'm thinking this one's the sour one. Things are normal. Everything's going smoothly. Mm-hmm. This is fine. We're okay. Alrighty, well, by process of elimination. Oh, that is sour. Ah, it's making my teeth feel very brittle. Okay, I'm good again. The sour has passed. I really like the flavor on that. Okay, so all these Japanese snacks have the same grape flavor. And I always thought it was so weird because none of the grapes I've ever had have tasted like this. But one time I had a layover in South Korea and my flight got delayed. So the airline hooked me up with this hotel and I got buffet tickets to the fancy hotel restaurant, which was like, a dream come true for me as a lover of free food. That was like the mother load. Anyways, I had these giant green grapes and I was like, okay, I'll give them a shot. I mean, usually I don't like giant green grapes, but those look pretty good. So I tried them and bam, tasted exactly like Japanese grape candy flavor. It was so good and I was so happy. It was like everything in the world finally connected and everything was right for that one moment.
So yeah, moral of the story, American grapes are subpar. That's the end of this month's Okashi Crate. Thank you so much for joining me. I think I have a, a boxu coming in soon. So I hope to see you again soon for that. Goodbye. Thank you again.